Good morning, my fellow yoga travelers. I'm mighty glad to be alive today, and I hope that you are too, as we continue to live, laugh, love, learn, linger, and live the life we love. You know, I'm always interested in affirmation, which simply means to say something is so, and the importance of distinguishing positive affirmation from negative affirmation. Basically, your affirmation is a point of attraction. It's a vibrational mechanism. That which is like unto itself is drawn. So you have to remember more clearly than ever before that you have to look for any excuse to feel good, to do it as often as you can, because the better you feel, the better things go. And realize that you're happy and you're good at what you do. Take away your involvement and concepts with all the things that pull you into the negative affirmation. And remember that you are that which you search for. So that's the kind of story you have to tell yourself. And we often distinguish between what I call the Saturn teaching and the Jupiter teaching. And the Saturn teaching is the teaching that time teaches you. And time can be very heavy and very leaden and move really slow and knock you down a few perches. But you can also learn from the Jupiter teaching, which is the teaching that you get from the human being, from the guru, from the mentor. And they're the one that's more expansive. Just as Jupiter has the largest orbit, so psychologically it means it softens the teaching and opens your horizons, higher consciousness. So you need to know this by reading about it. And then, of course, practicing it is the most important thing. You know, the guru always says, you can talk to me if you want to, but I don't need that you talk to me. I need that I should be in you, which means that you've internalized the teachings and then you hold yourself accountable. Why do you need another human being to make you feel that, oh, someone cares to confront me on my own bullshit? We have infinite tolerance for your flaws, but zero tolerance for your bullshit. So when you enter the path, you're there to test your limits. Be honest with yourself what your limit is, but be clear. You're going to be tested. And we suffer from our limitations, and that's all we have to lose is our limitations. So the path makes you realize that everyone has some deep strength that they're capable of, that your spirit within can handle any obstacle that you have to face, and of course, you have nothing to prove to anybody except yourself. But you have to put yourself under the understanding that just like a piece of coal becomes a diamond through time and pressure, it takes time to build the facets of your spiritual diamond. And so you start taking care of yourself, remembering that aging begins with deficiency, not years. And then eventually you understand that life becomes a rainbow for those who see the colors within. Now, I love the Jewish haiku that my grandmother used to say, uh, if there's no self, whose arthritis is this? It's a good question. I don't know if Zen Roshi can even answer that. But as we say in today's Passover, so I'm saying that, you know, in the Oriental teaching, they say the Tao doesn't expect, the Tao does not demand anything of others. The Tao does not speak, the Tao does not blame, the Tao does not take sides. The Tao isn't Jewish. So I have learned over the years to become one with my kvetching. Instead of saying, don't kvetch, no, be a kvetch, be one with your kvetching, and then there's no dualism in it. So I hope that you find how to be free from your anger so you can come out and play with other people. Because remember, the teachers, the gurus, they're not waiting around for you to get happy. You're not doing it for them. They're doing just fine. So find what gives you joy. And you'll, you'll see that the more you go on the quest for what's joyful for you, it'll please everybody else all around you. Take the path in good faith. And remember, it's also Easter weekend. No resurrection without crucifixion. So die to the old self so that the new spiritual self, your next most radiant self, can emerge. Always my wish for you and blessings to everyone.